So welcome back to our episode. Uh, we're on episode three of the series. Uh, so I was your previous winner, winning the Gnome Challenge with Clandor the Giant Killer. And I decided the prompt of stereotypical dads, where we draw what we think in our mind is a dad. When I bring up the word dad, what do you think of? So Eric's been the first one twice in a row. I'm going to kind of laugh if he's the first one again. I swear. Nope, you are. Okay. <laughs> oh, All right. look, it's the guy who rushed it. He gets to go yeah. first. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Baby second drawing. Oh, you're not going to be proud of baby second drawing. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Come on, baby. Oh, no. He's going to go worse than uh, your, your one piece dude. Congratulations. The good for him. So. I'm going to say this now, Vic. <laughs> Our dads look kind of similar. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I'm glad I went first. All right, let me get into this. Um, <laughs> this is Alex. <laughs> Ah, Alex, Alex is 27 years old. Um, he lives in North Carolina near Myrtle Beach. Uh, ah. He recently graduated from uh, Virginia Tech in um, 2019. Um, oh, major. He, um, he is actually general, unfortunately. General no, studies. No, okay. General he studies. Looks, literally, he looks literally like general, general studies. studies. He looks like. <laughs> he looks I don't like... know if you can graduate with a general studies, but okay. Anyways, yeah, uh, he's a barista. He he's a barista. Um, loves his job. He manages Hold a local on. coffee shop. Say that again. He's yeah, a barista. Word. Nope. Barista. There you barista. go. Barista. Hey, how do you know they don't say it differently he's across a... the country? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I actually uh, originate from North Carolina. So, excuse me. Uh... Excuse me. This is my lore. This Sorry. is my lore. You shush. Sure so he's a ballista. Um, <laughs> loves his. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, he's a barista. Uh, manages a local coffee shop um, in Charlotte. It's uh, actually called Grinder. Um, you can oh, see. Boy. You, can... <laughs> <laughs> you can see to the to the right of him um, is his fiance, Kashendra. Um, Kashendra is a. <laughs> Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> that was his daughter. <laughs> Kshindra is uh, 25 years old. Uh, they've been dating for three years. Alex actually proposed to her on her birthday last year. And if you haven't seen the shirt already, the obvious shirt, he's a dad to be. Oh, um, oh. oh, and because he's a dad to be, um, he's taking his last shot at traveling. Um, so this photo was actually taken in Florida, Miami beach, actually. And to prepare for, you know, fatherhood, um, he's made some slight changes to his lifestyle. He stopped wearing vans, started wearing new balances. Yes. Those are new balances. Don't judge. I can tell by the end. <laughs> Shoes are tough. He yeah. is also, the white notes. <laughs> he has also, uh, started practicing on the grill, started searing steaks. He's not good at it right now, but he's practicing. He's also started spending a lot of time uh, gardening and talking to his uh, middle-aged neighbor, Steve, who is also a dad. Uh, because of this, Steve has decided to take Alex under his wing and actually <laughs> teach him the way of the dad. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> As of right now, Alex is loving his life and cannot wait to see what the future holds for him. Does his wife shop at Hollister? Is that the Hollister yes, it logo? Does. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you asked. Yeah, that. That's great. I'm so I like her yes, purple rain boots. You know, yes, I like his beard too. Boots. His neck beard. Is he a no, Discord he moderator? A mustache or anything? Switch it up. Wade. Wade leads off. Okay, oh, Wade, what oh, okay. Are your um. So we're like kind of resetting so we, the we scale, say, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. So we, we're starting to say five is legit average for us. It's not crappy. It's just average. Go ahead. Give me criticism. I can handle it. <laughs> no, I mean, I think it's really good. I, I, I like the the lore behind it. You know, the I really like it being in a picture frame. I don't know why. I think that's really creative to me. Um, oh, thank you. I, I didn't think of that. So I'm going to it's above average. I'm going to give it a six on the drawing. And I'm going to actually just stick with it. Give it another six for the lore. I think it was a very solid, like, I, it, I, I'm surprised with your time frame. I, 
I, you could you could have mentioned that it took you hours and hours and hours to do it, and I would have believed either word. <laughs> I'm gonna roll with a seven on the art and a six on the lore. That's not that's not bad. Actually, actually, I'm a, I'm a lore seven seven. I'll go. <laughs> my my complaint is the uh, the you very clearly did what Eric and I were, or I guess what Eric was discussing with the rest of the group earlier, where you did the fill lines, and you didn't give a break. I, uh, I know. I, uh, well, I actually, no, no. He had two weeks to do this, and he did it in an hour and a half right before this yeah, recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. But I, I also do it. like. I also do like the date and the picture frame. I do like the date and the picture frame. I'll yeah. give it a five and a half. I'm gonna give it a five oh. and a half on the drawing. So slightly above average to me. The lore. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give. I like the lore pretty. Pretty good. I'm gonna give that a six and a half. You know what? From you, I will honestly take. Hey, it. do we do we have a bookkeep? Yeah. Kate, are you bookkeeping again? <laughs> yeah, I'm keeping. I'm keeping. Okay, uh, Victor, I, I I like the picture. I, I once again, I'm with Kate here, where, <laughs> where <laughs> you could have told me that this would have taken you a day to make, and I would have believed it. <laughs> you shouldn't have told us that you haven't done it yet. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Uh, I like the details: the Hollister shirt, the little mushroom in the back. Yeah, mushroom. No, it's, I'm joking. I know it's an umbrella. I know it's an umbrella. It's, it's I love how the sky's made of cheese. <laughs> crap. Yeah, I'm just going to start making up crap about your picture. For <laughs> it's my picture. No, uh, no, I like it. I like it. I, I, think, uh, I think you did good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rate the picture. Uh, you know, I'm going to rate it a five. I'm going to do average, I think. And then the lore I really liked, uh, so I'm going to give it a seven. I will take it. Last, but certainly not least. Um, Vic, I like him. I like him a lot. Um, I'm gonna give him a. I'm gonna give you a six on the drawing and a seven on the lore. Didn't you say earlier that this looked like your character? I also did not ever once say that my drawing was good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, Jay, Jay didn't <laughs> been downplaying his his art the entire time. In the same hole, I suppose. <laughs> okay. All right, so all right, Vic. Thank you for it. your presentation. I guess we'll head back to the wheel. All right, sir. We are back at the wheel. Vic just went, and here we go. Here we go. Wait, I have <laughs> high expectations for you. Um, today, I am proud to present Mr. Frank. Mr. Frank. Oh my God. <laughs> That's Carl, what? man. That's Carl. <laughs> wow. Wait, wait. That's great, Is this man. Copyright? Wait, dude. dude. <laughs> I'm impressed. That's a very good drawing. Wow. Dude. You he reminds me of beyond. Carl, man. That's great. The wait, why are you downplaying yours? I love took that. Me a long time. That is sick. Thank right, you, right, thank could, you. Could, go, go explain. I have a, this is, I've spent the most time on this drawing out of any of my other drawings um, combined. <laughs> so this is, this is Frank. Um, Frank is a, you know, he's a, he's the world's greatest father. Um, That's not what his shirt he, says. Oh, you're right, you're right, sorry. He wrote that on himself. Just kidding. But, um, <laughs> so he's um, currently a HVAC technician um part slash handyman uh, um he keeps his little phone on him just in case they ever call is that a phone or a pager uh, it's his phone it's a little oh. uh, on his belt clip okay um so frank really likes making his own beer and he does it yeah. in his garage he's got his little uh thing and makes his own little ipa kind of style um and bottles it himself it took him a long time to create these five bottles but um he really enjoys it. It's just kind of a hobby for him. He doesn't sell it or anything. He is a veteran. Uh, he was in the Navy back in his back in his glory days, and he still he was never um, enlisted or he never uh, was deployed or anything. But he does um, still reminisce and talk about his days with his um, fellow Navy um, veterans. And his actual favorite food, which he's not cooking right now, is little hot dogs. And he likes to cut them up and put them in some beans and call them Franken beans. A man after my own wow. heart. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I love this drawing. That's a, that's a, he's yeah. wearing the he's dad shoes and everything. <laughs> he's got his dad uh, shoes. Uh, he just finished the mowing the lawn a little while ago, so there's some, oh. some grass stains on his shoes. 
It took me so long to draw those shoes. <laughs> and I was just, I had like a, another picture reference pulled up and I was um, just trying to draw like next to it. And it, it took me so many tries. <laughs> Any questions? I'm, I'm here for questions. How many, how many kids does, does he have? Uh, he just has one kid at home right now. He has one kid in college as well. The older son goes to community college and he's a hybrid situation where he's trying to become um, a handyman, um, trying to be like his dad. And then he has once uh, one daughter in high school right now who is running cross country. Oh. <laughs> there we freaking go, dude. <laughs> so he's cooking one steak for his wife right now and one steak for his daughter. It really shows oh. the advantages of using a drawing pad over... Uh, no, it doesn't. I, no, it doesn't. I, I did uh, mine it, with a drawing pad. <laughs> <laughs> it, shows, it shows the advantages of, you know, working on it over time versus working on it time. for an hour and a half. Yeah. Yeah, we had the yeah. most time and the least time <laughs> right back to back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it shows the advantages of taking your time. That's uh, incredible. Great. Who, who, what other questions who, who, you got? Maybe, oh, yeah. How, how often does he fart? Because I, 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 he, <laughs> he seems to find it re- pretty funny. Is he the fart guy in the family? He I, definitely is the fart guy in the family. It was like a running joke when the kids were growing up that he would, like, you know, grab them and be like, I got something cooking for you. And, <laughs> well, you know, right, and right on them. And uh, this is gross. definitely was a, this giving is them the a hot absolute... pocket stuff image of like whatever you think stereotypical dad or just dad in general the, yeah, yeah no this, absolutely this, this nails it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. oh man thank you thank you with that i'm gonna give it a nine on the drawing oh wow Ooh. yeah I'm wow high in a nine, nine got yeah nine got rehashed that's uh that means it's basically uh almost perfect it's a great great drawing nine seven wow thank you so much I think it's me i lead off wade this is um i am thoroughly impressed this is by i want to say your best i don't know it's between that and sir hops a lot i like sir hops a lot because he's kind of <laughs> just goofy looking well you don't like gonna, now this is definitely the, the, the best one you've produced I, I guess i just have personal bias i just always really like sir hops a lot i'm gonna i'm gonna give i'm gonna go with kate on the drawing i'm gonna give it a nine and i'm gonna give Laura wasn't bad. It was pretty stereotypical of a dad. I'd give it an eight. Yeah, wait, I, th- I think you got this one in the bag, my brother. I know I'm speaking <laughs> early, but oof. Look at this. Look at this drawing. Okay, I am going to... I have one complaint about the drawing. The uh, Usually, fences have support beams going across. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> So yeah, yeah. I'm I mean, gonna give you a three fair. for the drawing. Not <laughs> just, <laughs> with that I deduct. <laughs> no, I just wants to win. <laughs> I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you an eight and a half on the drawing. I uh, and uh and and a, and, a, and a six and a half on the lore. I did hand draw the uh, fence behind him. I did three I, and then copy and pasted. All the way down the line. <laughs> that looks so good, dude. Oh my god. Oh, now that you oh now that you mentioned it. Oh, I see the circle pattern. <laughs> yeah, the circle pattern. Oh no, you should have told me. Oh no. Oh uh, no, no, man. The little, the little knots in the wood. You've already voted. You've already voted. <laughs> but look, he paid attention with the house in the back. Like, oh, god, yeah. I'm so impressed, dude. Good job. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, I, I guess I guess I'll go next. Um, Wade, you hit the ball out of the park with this one i'm gonna give you a nine just because earlier before um we start recording you said you were gonna implement shaders later on so i'm gonna give this a nine um and the lore i'm gonna give it an eight he did implement it i see it on the arms it's on his arms is it it's on him it's not on the grill or the I'm giving you a nine and a half for drawing and eight for lore me am i the last one yep mm-hmm. wait i'm gonna give you eight eight i'm gonna give you a solid nine on the drawing because first of all, shoes hella hard to draw. Yeah, Second of all, yep. hands hella hard to draw, and you knocked both of them out of the park, dude. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. He's got he's got the man boobs. He's got the pockets on his cargo shorts. Like mm-hmm. the detail in this drawing is amazing, Wade. So I'm gonna give you a nine ah. on the drawing, and the lore I also really likes. So I'm gonna give you an eight, eight point five. Ah, thank you. Eight point five. All right, I will Boy. take it. These are high scores. Yeah, that's, that's these probably, are very high probably scores. Our, our winner. Yeah. Ah man, there's yeah, so, a lot to go. So wait, so wait, what's your prompt? I, man, there's a lot to go. 
We do we do have four other drawings to present. For the for all our I, I I know well I'm not gonna be a winner anyways. Oh yeah, so I guess we <laughs> should implement winning. the rule now. So we, we won't have a winner twice in a row if or if we do, they don't decide the prompt twice. So they, they hand it off to whoever they feel like. And oh, that yeah. person gets to choose the prompt. Ready for wind spiel. Wind spiel wind sp spin wheel. Spin the wheel, spin. <laughs> just slowly disappearing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a me. <laughs> All right, so um, I got my boy oh, wow. Larry Richards. <laughs> oh my god! Go, Larry. <laughs> he's uh, <laughs> he's body shape, bro. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh my god, he's very good. Dude, the mower's so good. Jeez, the weed. That's I probably oh took more God. time on the mower than Larry Richards. I don't know. <laughs> it's it's definitely up there. So uh, here's Larry Richards. He's uh, 61 years old, or I'm sorry, 63 years old. He was uh, born and raised in Stillwater, Oklahoma, home of the uh, Oklahoma State Cowboys. Uh, he's worked out at, or he's worked at an oil field refinery for the previous 33 years as an operator. You know, just outside outside of Stillwater, they usually have a few uh, refineries. I don't know if that's lore accurate, but I don't really check that stuff. Uh, he he's worn and ruined over thirty pairs of Birkenstock sandals, which you could see him wearing as he's <laughs> mowing the lawn. But he doesn't buy another pair until he busts both straps. He has to bust both <laughs> straps on this on that's, the sandal before he it. decides to buy another pair. Uh, he has two sons and a daughter, which he always refers to his sons as sluggers and his <laughs> daughter as princess. He was a coach for both his uh, son's t-ball teams, but he was promptly kicked out after he began to yell at a kid because they cost them the game when they had a perfect record. Uh, you know, he kept he kept hitting the actual tee instead of hitting the, the baseball. He, uh, he decided to yell at the little boy, and uh, that's why he got promptly kicked out. Uh, the hat he wears is actually the T-ball team hat. By the way, his sons are now 25 and 21 years old, so he's had that hat for approximately, like, 20-ish years. And, oh, wow. uh, <laughs> that's his lawn mowing hat, you know? Mm -hmm. He actually can mow his one-and-a-half-acre lot in approximately 42 minutes. He tries to set new records, but he hasn't beaten 42 minutes yet. Uh, you can see the, the clean-cut lawn uh, behind him. He's uh, yeah. very thorough. You see the straight lines. He's uh, accurate. Totally His favorite beer is the classic Texas dad beer of uh, Shiner Bach. Just like Wade's dad, he's attempted to microbrew. But he can't microbrew because he wait he, or he hates waiting on the fermenting process. He calls his glasses his readers. He will <laughs> place them on the tip of the nose and begin to squint when he's trying to read stuff such as uh, directions or warning labels. And that's my boy, Larry Richards. That a boy. Right. Oh, Larry, bro. <laughs> Larry dot <PNG>. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my uh, my submissions are very brief on the uh, the naming. The naming. I love how he's like drifting <laughs> too. He's like drifting through the lawn at this moment. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's pulling up. Yeah, he's got his prompt little double chin there. He's uh. He, he he doesn't take care of himself too much, but he also what I like uh, he has uh, got some little alarm hairs. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <bro. laughs> he's, a, he's, he's a little bit hairy. <laughs> I like his hair. I, I like his bent shins, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, 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 yeah, but, but that's that's Larry Richards. Is there any uh, questions, comments, concerns? And he like doesn't have a butt. I was thinking of that. I was trying flat. to make him caked up, and then I was like, "No, I'm gonna make him flat." Because I was like drawing the chair for it, and I was like, "Should I give him a booty?" He's like, no. I love his stare too. It looks like he just stepped on his lawn, and he's <laughs> 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 he's <just> taking note. <laughs> he's like, remember face, memorize, memorize. <laughs> Go crazy, man! Lord, Lord, time. I mean, a Lord time rating time. All right, I'll start us off. This this drawing makes me uncomfortable, and I love it so much. <laughs> like What's wrong just with Larry? I at love Larry. Like it, no, I do too. I do too. I feel like like this is from my perspective. I'm looking over a fence, and he's like, "What's going on, neighbor?" <laughs> or something. Like um, hey there, champ. And, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. His eyes crack me up. 
Oh my gosh, his eyes are, his eyes are great. Um, I'm going to give drawing an 8 and lore a 6. Okay. All right, man. We got All right. Party. I also am going to give an 8. I love the drawing. I love the lamore in particular. I don't know. I'm just impressed. That, that looks. Uh, that's great. Dude. That's great. And I'll give you a 7 on the lore. I did like the details. You Thanks, man. To like. I think uh, I, I also enjoy. I love his body shape, bro. I, I like the Bob's Burgers <laughs> hair on his arms. <laughs> would you, yeah, would you that's what me? I was thinking of. Would you uh, believe me if, I, stole, looked if, I, if, I, if I looked up Bob's? I looked up Bob Belcher and I stole his arm hair. I mean, oh, that's yeah. what I was he trying to think of. Like Bob. Yeah. I love it. He, he, that, love that's how it. they draw his yeah, hair like, in like Bob's Burgers. So I was like, oh, it's cool. <laughs> I, I, yeah, look, I, I love <laughs> the picture as well. Uh, I, I'm going to go ahead and give it an eight. Are, and I also busted, I like I dude. really like the lore I really really do so I'm gonna give that a, a I'm gonna give it a seven seven yeah that sounds good I love the drawing um I'm gonna agree with Eric it does remind me of Bob's Burgers I couldn't think of the name but um, then Eric mentioned it um I also love the mower how it looks like I think you mentioned you spent a lot of time for that um as a reward you're gonna get um I'm gonna rate an eight for the drawing. And for the lore, I'm um, I'm gonna put it as a six or not a six, a, a seven. Eight and sevens. I'm getting Three right eight now. Sevens. No, I was gonna All say. Right. Uh, Campbell, I'm also giving you an eight on the drawing and a seven on the lore. Love it. Thanks, guys. Eight, I can't seven, wait to average this out to a seven and a half. <laughs> seven and a half. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> i think it's funny. great i like the oval face <laughs> i like how you went with the classic cartoon <laughs> the glasses magnify the white of his eyes <laughs> they stare me down. you see how he doesn't have like perfectly circular eyes and they're kind of like <laughs> ovals yeah. that's his predator vision you know <laughs> yeah i like the trucker cap when he sees kids at the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you doing? He, he, I, I, you, you can notice too. His parking brake is on. Like he's, he's, oh, he's focused yeah. in right now. He yeah, literally man. stopped uh, mowing his lawn, and he is staring at you right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. We wheel around and round. Whisper. Oh, 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 hey, oh, that was a close one. Hey, everybody, <laughs> meet Mr. Mom Jericho. Mr. Mom. Mi Mr. Oh, Mom. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Mr. Mom. Oh, no. Jericho. Eric. <laughs> Great. Right. Eric. Let's hear the lore. Let's hear the lore. Maybe, Yo, maybe it's not as bad as we think. Listen, okay? Mr. Mom. Okay. <laughs> Why do you always have his abs showing through? Every drop of the time uh, has abs showing through. I was about to talk about that. I love it. <laughs> his, his body is just that perfect triangle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you couldn't see his legs in this one, but he had buff thighs in the original picture. <laughs> He's just okay, so. Right now. <laughs> Jericho was it married at the ripe old age of 20 to his love, Linda. And uh, they were living in, in Texas, going to uh, the University of Texas. When they got married, uh, you know, got going through college, they, they completed college, and they made a big mistake in deciding to move to Montana. That will come in a little later. So they moved to Montana. Uh, you know, Jericho and his wife... Uh, 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 Linda are are working. Uh, they they get the news one day that Linda's pregnant, and uh, Jericho's the happiest person can be. Uh, uh, Linda not so much, but she's still you know kind of happy. You know that she's able to fulfill Jericho's dreams of being a dad. And oh. so they they have the daughter. You know, name her Linda Junior. And then all of a sudden, while well, uh, you know, uh, after, you know, a couple months of the birth of uh, Linda Jr. being alive, tragedy strikes oh in Montana, God. the oh. highest, oh, the no. highest DUIs per capita. Oh. Linda gets oh. killed by a drunk driver. Oh, no. Jericho no. is a single okay. dad, and he oh. had to take over the responsibilities of being Mr. Mom. That's why he's wearing this dress. 
You know, this this dresser said this picture is taken uh, four years later and he's having a tea party with his daughter. He's okay. as you can see, he's a big buff man, likes working out, <laughs> likes dude stuff, like hunting, all of that good stuff. Chest hair. But he is not afraid to put on a dress for his daughter because she wanted a tea party. That's uh, I like that. The yeah. ultimate the ultimate Jericho's a good dad. He loves his daughter, Linda Jr. After, after, you know, four years later, uh, they decide Montana's too much. Uh, he, he's got to move back home to get some help from his parents. So he moves back to Texas. So I love, I love his fence. That's a, that's a, <laughs> it's Adobe. <laughs> it's Adobe in Montana. That's oh my what, gosh. <laughs> it's Adobe. <laughs> I, th- I thought it was uh, dirt. You should have just told me it was dirt. I thought it was a dirt that's path. A fence. Well. That's a fence. You thought it was okay, you were that's, you were judging my fence earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there are no bars on the fence. <laughs> yeah, there's no cross it's, beams. It's a clay fence. Uh, Eric, no, now it's no, clay. No, 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 we're just making a joke. What you said earlier, to wait. Eric, Eric, I know <laughs> the fence you're talking there. about. Eric, I know what kind it's of fence like, you're talking about. It's like about. the nerd, the nerd emoji. <laughs> there's no cross beams <laughs> on your fence. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, uh, that's, that's, that's Jericho. That's Jericho. I love his beard. That's great. He's got to be absolutely jacked, right? If you can see his he, abs yeah, through that's a how dress. He, that's how he bent up the table like that. <laughs> he, he, <laughs> he, he, like the <laughs> <laughs> he works out twice a day and maintains a, Golly. a, a strict I could diet. Doubt. Arms in the morning, legs at night. Mostly chicken and tuna. And let me tell you, <laughs> Linda Jr. is probably going to be jacked one day, too. Uh, how old is Linda Jr.? I didn't get that. Uh, at this point, she's four and a half. The oh, okay. time this picture was taken. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. So, last question for me. Is he looking to get back out there? He is, actually. Yes. Okay. He, uh, he, for a hard. while, was sustained with Linda Jr. being the only woman in his life um, because he just has such a deep love for his daughter. But now he's, he's, he, he's moved back to Texas and he's ready to mingle. Wait, are you uh, ready to lead us off? I'm ready. Negative five points because of the fence. <laughs> I'm, <just kidding. laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. No, it was. It is. Uh, it's really funny. And it's funny. The the lipstick shade is impressive. Um, there's only one cup of tea. You know, yeah, kind of. Uh, yeah, that, they were they were strapped well, for money for a little bit. So he, uh, he bought okay. a tea set with the cup and the tea kettle, and that's it. Oh, Adobe's very uh, expensive. He, the, right. the reason it's Adobe is because he built it himself. Out of clay. Oh, you keep wow, because, you because saying you Adobe, but I keep thinking <laughs> that you drew it in Photoshop. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> like, oh yeah. I do like the drawing. Hear me out. I'm gonna give it a five on the drawing. I think it's average. I think it's good. I like how you explain the lore, so I'm gonna give the lore a seven and a half. Ooh, I'll take it, Eric. I, I love it. I love <laughs> it. I'm a big fan. I'm gonna give him a six on the drawing. I think it's slightly above average. I think this, I think the muscles is but it's pushing me up more than because <laughs> I just like it's funny. But uh, I'm gonna give you an eight on the lore. I love the lore. Uh, great stuff. I he's a struggling father. I love to see it. Uh, lo- love to see him uh, uh, go go above and beyond for the daughter. That's great. Love, love the- yeah, I'll lead off uh, this next one. So yeah, I'm gonna give. I like the drawing. I think it's I think it's about average for you. For, I'm gonna give it a five and a half. Your lore, I re, I really enjoyed. You you you're more of a uh, a lore heavy guy. Uh, I always like the lore on your side more. I feel like I'm gonna give your lore an eight and a half. I remember him. I'm gonna give him a seven on the drawing and a seven for the lore. This is pretty solid. Um, Eric, I love this character. Um, I love the nickname Mr. Mom as well. Even though it's a clay fence back there. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna have to rate the drawing a little lower. I'm gonna rate it um a six, but I'm gonna give the lore uh, a nine. I'm gonna give you six nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> nice. That's, that's oh. good. Dang. I love it. I love it. Spin that wheel. You gotta spin it. Do do do. Yeah. Jay, go, Jay, go. It's fun and it's Jay, a lucky Jay, but then, Jay and then Jay Tara finale.
So Jacob is um he's been underselling his his character for quite some time now. Like a few it's, days. It's not good. I just now I just got my drawing pad in. I'm learning how to draw on the computer. I have trouble with feet, and I spent about an hour and thirty minutes on this one. All right, this true, is um true. This is him. Oh, Look at it. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> it reminds me of those old uh, those old comic strips. The one of the, the dog and the dude with the tie that flips upside down. Dilbert? <laughs> yeah, man. It kind of reminds me of them. <laughs> I see potential. <laughs> dude, he is a he's a This is something man. I draw in like fourth grade, man. <laughs> what, what, what do you mean, man? What do you mean? <laughs> I have uh, pictures yeah. of my my yeah. like drawings in my dad's <laughs> office that look like this guy kind of <laughs> what made like fourth grade. <laughs> I like how the fire is rounded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I had trouble with my drawing pad. I have to I like, get used to using it. Um, I like modern art paintings, or is those are those bookshelves? <laughs> those are bookshelves uh, with very uh, thick uh, and tall books. <laughs> I, I did not want to put the time in for the books, so I just I didn't. <laughs> I see, I see. I His name is Frank Callahan. He is 42 years old. He is a history professor at the University of Stanford. He has five kids. He has written a total of two books in his life. Right? One nonfiction and one fiction. Um, he really likes trains. In fact, he has a model train in his basement. He watches the NBA, but the only thing he says when he watches it is, I miss the old NBA, back when you could actually play. <laughs> not this new stuff a true fan <laughs> not the soft stuff <laughs> he does have a 401k and he's gonna get retirement from teaching he did buy crypto at the start of 2017 but he sold it um and he has not got back into the game three of his kids are out of the house one of them currently teaches public school in connecticut um one of them is going to the university of ucla uh studying engineering one of them goes with him to the University of Connecticut, uh, University of Stanford. I'm sorry, um, and they are actually studying ecological preservation. Mm. His other two kids, one of them's in high school, plays football, wide receiver, not very good. Um, the other one plays soccer. <laughs> okay. uh, also, they're right. position. Okay. Full position forward. Mm. <laughs> he does have a wife. She's not pictured here, but she made him this cup of coffee. Um, oh. He's an oh, avid reader, like... if you can tell, and he is reading Moby Dick. Uh, so, I noticed that when you zoomed in, it said Moby. Um, he's got new balances on. I, I noticed the shoes. I can tell uh, by... We, we had an N written on one, and then we had an NB written on the other one. Um, uh, oh, his nonfiction book was titled Germanic Movements in the 700s. Um, and his <laughs> fiction book is about uh, Ragnarok. Any questions, boys? Where is his eyes? <laughs> they're, they're behind they're the glasses. They're thick lenses. They're thick lenses. Oh. This is like one of those anime glasses, like serial killer moments. No, his glasses are negative twelve prescription on both. Oh, oh, oh boy, he's, good he's God. legally blind. Oh, okay. those are bulletproof. He's like yeah. the Stevie Wonder <laughs> book. Jeez. So, so I'm assuming he, he likes reading. He's oh. also kind of given a peace sign. Look at that. <laughs> but that's actually that that's it? actually how I hold a book when I'm reading it with one hand. I oh, I yeah. used it as huh. a reference. Yeah, Can you zoom in Two on that fingers? hand. I want to see more of that. I want to see more of that hand. That's actually that's wow. pretty good. Wow. Pretty you solid. got the, you got the wedding uh, ring for the, for the holding. Uh, yeah, he does have a wedding ring on. Oh. That's great. And yeah, two fingers on the spine. Two fingers on the left page and my thumb on the right page. That is how I hold a book if I'm holding it with one hand. I I it, I use straight reference from myself for that. Yeah, um, besides uh, the, the book he's reading right now, Moby Dick, um, what's his next favorite book? His next favorite book is actually The Count of Monte Cristo. Mm. Uh, um, mm. He's a very, he, he studies, he teaches European history, so he's very, very ah, oh, yeah. European. There you go, okay. Oh. That's, good. That's good, that's good. I like it a lot. Are we ready to start voting? Yeah, go wait, for wait. It. let's no? kick us off. Man, this is, I feel like the drawing um, has a lot of lore behind it like the like the drawing is more focused on like the stuff around him and not specifically the dad which is which is fine but it's like very heavy on the books and the in the fireplace and figure out what i'm trying to say i think i'm gonna go with a seven on the drawing 
and a seven on the lore. All right. So I don't know what kind of crack pipe Wade is smoking. <laughs> <laughs> I love the lore. Uh, the drawing, Jacob. Oh, oh man, I it's, <laughs> it's rough. I, I, I I've said it all day. It's a rough you're drawing. Right. Yeah, J- I, Jacob is, give, has told us time and time I'm gonna again. Give the drawing four. <laughs> I'm gonna give you the lore and oh. eight. Actually, I'll give the lore and nine. I like it. I I, this, I, I like how the details. I like the uh, like how he's a writer and, a, and an author. I like how the cup of coffee. He's, he's softening the blow for you. He's softening here's, the blow. Here's what I did, boys. I waited until this week to draw. Started drawing Tuesday night, finished half of it, and then got my drawing pad and thought, I'll just go do it on the computer, and did it in about an hour. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> not a great drawing. Yeah. Tough week for me, not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah that's, uh, but, uh, this is I'll, gonna be I'll, a tough, tough episode with for the you. nine on the lore. Yeah, he's softening the blow. I'll give, I'll give the drawing, man, I, I'd Our, give it like a four and a half. And then I'm gonna give your lore. I liked your lore. I'd give it like a seven and a half. <laughs> uh, just... Jacob, I'm, I'm 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 gonna apologize for the score. I'm gonna give you. I've seen better out of you. Last week was oh, I died. Yeah, freaking bro. Tim that, that the gnome. Gnome, Tim. Bro. Oh my gosh, I've seen better. So I'm gonna hold you to that standard. I'm gonna give you a three on the drawing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. A lot of constructive <laughs> criticism going on this morning. <laughs> However, you really picked it up with the lore with the specifics. I'm gonna give you a, I'm gonna give you a seven on the lore. If I had Tim's drawing and Frank's lore, I would have won last week. You would have won. One hundred percent. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna have to side with Eric. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a, a three. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Um, I think we have a new candidate for worst draw. Yes. I, I was um, waited seven seven two. I, I knew I, I wanted to soften the blow for it going forward. I'm, I knew there were gonna be some tough critics. I'm 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 gonna give it a three. I'm not gonna lie. I was kinda I'm 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 kinda I was kinda hoping that you would resubmit Tim. <laughs> <laughs> I would have given it to, but I'm gonna give your drawing a three. You can do better. Um, I'm gonna give your lore an eight. Okay. Yeah. So what was it exactly? Was it the undetailed books, the off-center fireplace, it's, or the it's very? I think, basic it was, I think it was the floating yeah, fireplace that bothered dude. me. For me, it was the yeah, bookshelf. the white white skin got it for me. <laughs> Yeah, but like the not white and white as, as in the the race, but he's like bricks. literally just the color white. It's the same color yeah. as his New Balance. Yeah, bro. the, the, the Doctor Seuss fireplace is what did it for me. Right. Cade, you uh, you got a you got a chance here, man. I got a chance. Here's mine. <laughs> so these are my dads. Oh, Wait right. a minute. My dad's oh, my dad. no. uh, their names are are William and Aaron. <laughs> they've, they've been a they've been a gay couple yeah. for four years now, and they have a daughter. <laughs> Uh, adopted, so, I assume. Uh, <laughs> no, no, actually, no, no. William had a child oh. before. Uh, oh, him, him okay. And, met up. and w- William's Ooh. the one in the chair, by the way. He's the one with the, f- the hat. So yeah, the hat yeah. is a detail that I want to add to kind of bring in. He's the stereotypical dad that's like the goofier father, uh, mm-hmm. you know, the one who likes to have a good time. And, the, and then Aaron's the more serious one over here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, what they're doing right now is they're uh, they're watching a sunset, obviously. Uh, but uh. The, the thing behind them is William William has expressed to Aaron that he's wanted to see the world's most beautiful sunset. That's like a life goal. That's his bucket list num- numero uno, right? And so they made plans to travel the world to find the most beautiful sunset. Uh, but to their surprise, at a friend's wedding that they had to go to, before they before they planned to travel to Hawaii, they, they found it. They found the most beautiful sunset in the place they expected the least at, at their friend's wedding. So the, that's, that's, those are my dads. <laughs> <laughs> okay. what about which it? one is which here? Which one is, is I'm assuming Aaron's the one up atop and Williams Williams on the bottom, Aaron's the one. He has no Look, depth 
on his face, and so like his eyes just wide yeah. open. <laughs> what is that? Looks, like, looks like he's got the Sonic the guys over guy there looking at the camera. Yeah, look at his butt. Taken, man. He's taken. You do be taken. So, I feel like I got rotoscoped. For uh, <laughs> for those out there who are wondering, this is a clear picture of uh, me and a buddy at a wedding. <laughs> no, no, no. Drawn over. Where I'm the guy sitting in the chair. What do you mean? We're like. We're like. Aaron. Your name is Campbell. I don't get it. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this, this is a surreal experience right now. I don't know what's going on. Oh my gosh. What do you mean? What do you mean, dude? <laughs> uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful face. They didn't know the most beautiful they sunset good experience. was going to be here, and they found it. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah, I'm pretty, yeah. I'm pretty, I'm have, pretty good on this one. I get it. I, I have a question. Yeah, it's a little more simple than my usual, but I have a you get you gave him a lot more cake than in the original picture. Yeah. <laughs> another another <laughs> picture. He has like uh, the coats covering him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to, I wanted to spice it up. Well, I mean. William had to find something about it, Aaron, that he liked, other than personality. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> physical attributes. About Woo! that cardinal desire, you know. <laughs> okay, so the original <laughs> photo that this this drawing is referencing is is beautiful. This drawing encapsulates the happiness between the two dads. It, it, you know, I just know they're holding hands right now. And yeah. and there yeah, should be a tear drop or dropping <laughs> down from his eyes. It's it's beautiful. I, they are yeah. in. William's they're enjoying. William, yeah, William's definitely. definitely the they're enjoying the moment. They're loving life. Drawing <laughs> is going to get a six, and lore is getting a nine. Uh, so this is kind of a weird, surreal experience because I'm one of the pick dudes. Picture no, you're here. not. No, you're not. That's William. That's William. That's William. That's, that's right. William. That's, that's William. That's William. Yeah, that's William. Um, I I do like the drawing a lot. I think that's a great drawing. I'm gonna give the drawing an eight. The lore left a little to the uh little to be uh imagined or thought of. I guess it's a little not we not lackluster. <laughs> a little lackluster. No, no, no. It's it's a little lack more on the lacking side to me. But it's still good lore. I'd give it a seven. I give it an eight and a seven. Just because it's this and it killed me, bro. It was hilarious. I'm I'm gonna go ahead and give the drawing an eight and a half. I'm gonna give. I I, I agree. The lore was a tad lacking, just because there wasn't. Uh, there's not a bunch there. Uh, so I'm gonna give the lore five. Oh, Ooh. Jesus Christ! Wow, <laughs> what? I, that's, I, that's, literally, wow. I, I literally hey, cut five is average. Five is average, brother. Five yeah, is five average. Yeah, five is average. Five, Remember, five is average. Yeah. Still, we, we, get five is insulted. we get insulted. We get it if it's a five or below. We're like, what Whoa. the hell? <laughs> no, no, it's just that it's the lowest lore score so far. <laughs> it hurts, doesn't it? <laughs> like, at least it's not a three. Okay, yeah, at least yeah. it's I literally cut yeah, out half on the of my lore because it was this filler. Sh like it was just dumb stuff. I don't. I don't know. I didn't think. Hey, it from didn't, my last one, it was matter. all filler. They love the filler. Take a Vic. What do you got? Um, I, I honestly, looking at <laughs> the reference picture <laughs> and the picture you drew, I'm gonna give it like, I'm gonna give it like a seven. I think it's a great drawing. You, you really encapsulated the emotion eight. within. Um, I'm gonna give your lore a seven, Cade, because I thought it was very good lore. I you hit the main points. You didn't provide the filler, which they like, but I'm impartial to. I think I'm gonna give it a seven. I enjoyed it. Thank you, Jacob. I like. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this reference. So. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like that uh, creative side. Um, the drawing itself, I'm gonna give it. Uh, I I think it's average. I'm gonna give it a five for the lore, um, because of the creativity. I'm gonna give it a six. Thanks, thanks, guys. <laughs> so so we just went over the score. I mean, it's pretty obvious if you watch the video that uh, Wade's our winner. You know, finishing it off at an eight point three, which is um. Pretty good for a rehash number because you know 
we're, like previously we'd all get like eights average. And then, uh, you know, at the bottom of the tier list, we got Jacob at a six, which honestly I thought it was going to be like a four or like a five average. Which <laughs> the Lord saved the Lord, the Lord saved you. The Lord. And, uh, you know, we're, the rest of us are pretty close in the pack. Um, I got a 7.4, and then Eric got a 6.95. Kate got a 6.89, and then old Vic got a 6.4, <laughs> which Vix is kind of deserved for drawing so quick. <laughs> Maybe he'll learn his lesson uh, for the next biweekly episode. And, uh, yeah, so Wade is our uh, episode three winner. He will determine the prompt, which he's declared not to uh, tell us now because he has ideas brewing. But we will be back in two weeks. What, what is our hey. – we, we need, like, an outro or something. Ah, see ya! Woo, hee, ha!